Ranking Southern states from the least Southern to the most Southern. Number 14, Missouri. J just be happy you're on the list. Number 13, Oklahoma. Listen, I think that Oklahomians, Oklahoma, Oklahomies, are just gonna be excited that they even made the list, you know? Well, at least the ones that care. I mean, there are parts of Oklahoma that are as Southern as cornbread, but there are also some parts of Oklahoma that are as Midwestern as corn. I don't, I don't know what y'all have. But I do know that the entire state can come together and agree as one that they hate Texas. So as far as I'm concerned, you're part of the South Oklahoma uh, until we hear you call a bottle of Coke pop and then you're out of here. Number 12, Virginia. This one was tough. Listen, if I could take the half of Virginia that has Roanoke and Lynchburg, I would do that in a heartbeat, but we can't cut Virginia in half, okay? They already did that once, and that gave us West Virginia, and nobody wants West Virginia. Number 11, Kentucky. There are so many great things that Kentucky has given, not just the South, but the entire world. They invented bourbon, fried chicken, and horses. But if you take a closer look at Kentucky, you will notice that the Bluegrass State is home to over 20 Skyline Chili locations. And that's the place where you put chili on top of spaghetti. And that ain't Southern, that's disgusting. Number 10, Florida. Yes, it is true. The further south you go in Florida, the more Northern it gets. But some people love to argue that Florida itself is not a Southern state. And those people have never stepped foot in the Panhandle. Yes, South Florida is just New Jersey with alligators, but the Panhandle is as Southern as it gets. Pensacola is basically Alabama with lottery tickets. Number nine, Texas. Here's the thing, Texans consider themselves Texan first and then Southern, but they've got all the characteristics of a Southern state. They've got the accents, they've got the hospitality, uh, they've got the crazy weather that the rest of us have to deal with. The only thing really holding them back is their inferior barbecue and inability to make good chili. Yeah, I said it, but I, I probably shouldn't have. Please don't take our buckies from us. Number eight, North Carolina. Now this is the first state that feels 100% Southern, but I can't rank them any higher because they don't have a complete societal collapse when they're threatened with like half an inch of snow. Oh, and the fact that they don't have a single SEC team. Grow up and join a real conference already. Number seven, Arkansas. Part of me really wanted to rate Arkansas higher because they've given us Johnny Cash, the hub of culture and savings known as Walmart, and the world champion Squirrel Cook-Off. But still, parts of Arkansas feel Midwestern-y and Texas-y and whatever Missouri is. But the most southern parts of Arkansas aren't really that populated, and they're off your radar and I'm pretty sure that's exactly how they want it to be. Number six, Louisiana. No state in the country is more unique than Louisiana. They've got their own food, they've got their own language, but yeah, they're still Southern as can be, from Shreveport to New Orleans. They're also very Cajun especially down in the bayou. If Yankees have a hard enough time understanding all of our accents, they ain't got a snowball's chance in South Florida of understanding anybody from Homa. Number five, South Carolina. Just how Southern is South Carolina? Well, two of their favorite pastimes are arguing about barbecue and debating whether or not North Carolina is a Southern state. So yeah, they're one of us. Except the rest of us don't understand why you keep putting so many palmetto tree stickers on your car. What is that all about? Okay, we get it, you got trees. Number four, Georgia. Shocked to see him so low on the list? Yeah, I understand. But here's the thing, Atlanta. Number three, Tennessee. Now the land of Dolly could make some very compelling arguments to why they should be number one on this list, but recently they've fallen in love with fake moonshine. So listen to me very closely, Tennessee. I cannot rank you any higher until you recognize that real moonshine does not have a barcode. Number two, Mississippi. Now, this one was tough. I love Mississippi. It's one of the most beautiful states in the country and don't even get me started on how good their food is. Do you remember in the blind side when Coach O said that you could stop at any Mississippi gas station and get the best barbecue sandwich of your life? He wasn't joking, but he also wasn't telling the whole truth because that gas station also has the best biscuit you've ever had, as well as knockoff sunglasses, tanning beds, an accountant, a mechanic, a notary. It's basically a little Walmart. Number one, Alabama. It is the absolute heart of the South. I mean, where else in the world are you gonna see a baby drinking sweet tea out of a bottle? Hopefully nowhere, but I did see it one time in Coleman and I hope that baby is okay. When it comes to food, Bama checks all the boxes. Barbecue, seafood, fried, whatever you name it. They've given the world Hank Williams, Bo Jackson, Harper Lee, 10,000 Alexander Shannara billboards, and one billboard that tells you to go to church or the devil will get you. And I can't think of anything more Southern than a sign telling you to get your butt to church or you're going straight to hell. 